In this quick tutorial, we'll go over the replacing of rear air springs on your Mercedes GLS series SUV. If you have one of these, you know that they're problematic. They always go. Uh, your car ends up looking like this, uh, and it's a real headache. But they're actually very easy to change, so let's take care of that now. First thing, head over to Amazon and pick up a set of these air springs. I am pro Amazon for about 90% of the parts you need for these car repairs. You can see here that stock is about 700 bucks a piece. These here for the set, under $100. Comes with the new fitting for the airline and this little damper here for the top. And I'll put a link to the product down below. Using these little pads here, which you can also get from Amazon, you want to fit them right into these little cradles here on the, on the side of the vehicle. Just helps prevent damage, lift up the car that way. A little old school, so I like throwing the tire underneath. But I'm also a hack, so I'm going to put my jack stand there. Once the spring is exposed, you'll see that the only thing that really holds it in is the air that's in it against this little socket on the bottom. There's a little clip up top. Once we take that air line out, you'll see that it gets spongy and you can pull it right out easily. You gotta get up underneath there with an open end wrench and back that out. I don't like taking it out all in one shot. I take it out, once it gets a little bit loose and the air starts to come out, give it a sec. Let that air completely run out before you actually pull the fitting out. Once you have that disconnected, you'll see that you can squeeze this easily. You could spin it around. There's a little clip on top, so if you just take a small pry bar and you can pop that off, it'll most likely break, but it's okay. You'll have a new one with the, your new air spring. Pop it off, and this will come out very easily. Just take note that on some models, there's a ride height sensor, and you might have to move that. If you can't get the spring out this way from towards the front, you might have to move this little ride height sensor to get it out uh, from underneath on certain models. You want to make sure that the cup on the bottom is nice and clear of anything and that the damper came out with the old shock, I'm sorry, the old spring. There's this little plastic nub here. You're going to take that out, just unscrews. Just make sure you reinstall the one that comes with your new air spring. With the spring out of the vehicle, reach down and grab that airline. It's plastic. And the only thing that connects that to the spring is a compression fitting. Take note, there's three pieces. The fitting, an o-ring, and a collet. You don't want to lose that collet. And you don't want to reuse the old fitting. Put it on there. Make sure that the plastic is not protruding too far past the fitting. If it does, it'll end up bottoming out inside the body of the new air spring. Thread this new clip onto the post here at the top. Now you can just slide that new spring back into place. Try to make sure the opening for that airline is towards the back. And you're going to push it up and it pops onto that little plastic clip. Uh, it loosely holds it. And you'll notice that once it's in, it's kind of just dangling there. But you go around the back and you get that new fitting in using caution not to over tighten. Now you can use a jack to raise up this rear suspension and get the bottom of the spring to seat into that socket there. I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. I'm gonna use a scan tool and go into the test menu to throw some air into that one spring. And by doing that, you can see that the bottom part of this spring popped out. It's seated down into that socket. If you don't have one of these tools, you'll have to slowly lower your vehicle onto the spring, make sure the bottom of that spring is seated into that socket it's going to bottom out way down, but once the car turns on, you'll start to fill with air and you'll level out. For me here, you'll see how it comes down and it's already almost at ride height. And that's because I threw some air in there beforehand. And then just as a test, I hit the ride height adjustment, make sure it goes up and down and holds air. Here's a close up of the old spring. You see it's dry rotted, it's got, it's weathered. And this is typically what you see. When you experience those issues, you go outside after a day or two, your car just completely bottoms out. If you're so inclined, like and subscribe. I like making these videos to help people save money. These are things that are easily done in your own driveway. And if you purchase these springs through this link, I earn a whole 17 cents.